Welcome to ARC, your go-to destination for mastering industrial automation. Today, we're diving into the heart of SCADA systems with our exclusive series, WinCC 7.5 Mastery, Step-by-Step -step Video Tutorials. Today, we're diving into WinCC 7.5 to explore the process of creating buttons and setting up screen navigation. First things first, launch WinCC Explorer and open your project. If you haven't created a project yet, you can follow our previous tutorial on that. Now, let's navigate to the Graphic Designer tool. Open our old screens. Let's start by adding a button to our screen. In Graphic Designer, head to the toolbox, find the button element, and drag it onto your screen. Resize and position it as needed. This button will become the gateway to our next screen. Go to Properties and select Specs Make Setting Global Color Scheme No. Now you can apply our color scheme. Select font and add I text vessel 1 so we will make this button to navigate to vessel 1 screen. Then change font size. Then go to colors here you can set background color and font color. Copy and paste button and just change font so all setting will be copy from previous button. Align shape she and geometry off button so it will be look best. With our button and destination screen ready, it's time to set up screen navigation. Go back to the properties of your button, and in the on-click action, choose navigate to screen and select the screen you just created. This establishes the link between the button and the destination screen. We haven't created a vessel screen yet. First of all, let's create the vessel 1 screen. Go to WinCC Explorer, select Graphics Designer, and create a new screen for Vessel 1 and Vessel 2. For more details, you can refer to the previous video of this tutorial. Assign a name to the new screen so that we can easily identify it. Now, open the newly created screen and add some text and buttons. You can simply copy data from the main screen to save some time. Ensure proper alignment and change the text and button labels. From this screen, we can navigate back to the main screen. In the on-click action of the button, choose Navigate to Screen and select the screen you just created. This establishes the link between the button and the destination screen. Now open Vessel 1 screen and make same setting as Vessel 2 screen. Time to save the project and deploy it to the runtime system. WinCC 7.5 makes this process straightforward, ensuring your HMI application is ready for real-world operation. <laughs> 